All right, we have the FJ 1100 engine taken out of the frame. I've already started taking some parts off. I had done a little, sealed most of the uh, inlet and out exhaust um, covers. And uh, I use uh, uh, oven cleaner, the good stuff, not the fume free stuff. So you gotta be careful when you wanna do that stuff outside, not breathe the fumes, but I spray the whole engine down with it. It helps break the grease down really, really well. Um, it'll actually strip off any kind of uh, paint, loose paint and stuff like that. So really nice. Um, everywhere I can get it, there's a couple areas after I done pulled the alternator and the starter out, there was some you know, hidden areas that you can't get it all out. But for the most part, the engine came out uh, good and clean. So basically all this video is for, is for basically for me, for documenting disassembly of the engine. Um, I have a table set off to the side. I'm gonna stack all the parts on as I take it apart. Um, I'm gonna most likely run the video going fast um, just to go through it. Um, I'll actually pause and note something if I need to in the video. But this is basically gonna be a disassembly and then I'll make a new video with once the parts have all been either uh, new parts uh, replaced in it, um, I'll kind of go through that kind of stuff. Uh, so all the parts will be nice, fresh, uh, uh, clean. They'll have a nice uh, blast finish and uh, fresh paint applied. And then we'll kind of go from there. So anyways, this is the breakdown video of taking it apart. And I don't actually have a tool or a, uh, an engine stand for this particular engine. I have some for my Ducati stuff, but nothing for this Yamaha engine. So I gotta do it the young man's way of crouching down and working on it. So we'll basically we break it down, like I said, I've already taken off the alternator, the starter, the oil cap, um, the uh, ignition assembly. So, and the oil's been drained out of the engine, etc. So. We will get going on it. Baby, I'm bad. Baby, I'm bad. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad
I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only got one, so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stay young, tag, baby I'm bad, baby I'm bad All right, we got a couple things all. I got the engine completely torn apart. The this GoPro, either the battery or whatever, just acting up. <clears throat> wouldn't wouldn't record very long. Kept saying battery was overheating. So, anyways, I got it broke down and I started uh, cleaning some of the parts. I got the cylinder head here. It already went. Uh, I had it all taped up and um, sandblasted um, in the blast cabinet and then painted it uh, the silver and then I had the <clears throat> this is the lower half of the crankcase it's all stripped down um, I tried to put paint remover on there but as you can see that wasn't very successful I got the other half this is the upper half sitting right here I have all the gasket surfaces all cleaned up and everything I just got to uh, get the paint stripped off of here and uh, get them bolted back together and painted uh, the engines kind of torn apart in bags um, this thing had no odometer on, it on this bike so I had no idea how many miles were on it or etc but I gotta tell you this thing the engine was pristine um, the main bearings look like they had hardly any use to them at all you could still see if anybody's familiar with main bearings like journal bearings Usually, you know, if they're worn, they, they show a copper look to them, or they get a really a lot of uh, polishing in there if they get been used a little bit. These main bearings look really good. You can still see the satin finish on the coating that goes on them. Um, the crank, I mean, no flaws. The crank is in excellent shape. Um, I got it all cleaned up. Um, oh, I did have have to say I had a really gnarly uh trouble with a particular bolt i believe it was is it on here i think it was yes it holds the uh um it's a i don't know something for the the the, the big chain that goes on here that drives the uh, uh thing for the alternator well, this particular bolt right here, I guess Yamaha locked tighted it in with something incredible strong because they had it held in with uh, some M6 screws. And I went, I got this one out. It was really tough to get out. It was, you know, you could tell that they must have put a ton of stuff on there. But anyways, I got this down here. That baby did not budge and it snapped the head right off. And let me tell you, trying to get that bolt out broken bolt out was a booger I had to go through a multitude of carbide burrs because the bolts were stainless um, I couldn't get a drill in here um, it's too deep even for a long jobber it was too deep so I had to uh, take the carbide burr and slowly just eat the 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 actual bolt away until and then I started blowing high pressure air in there and then it started the once I cleaned it up really good Literally all the threads kind of come out of there. I ran a tap back through it, chased it out. It's all good. But man, let me tell you, that took me probably an hour and a half, if not longer, to, to get that hole cleaned out. So anyways, I'll go and show you what the head looks like. I got the, uh, like I said all the parts are out, all the bearings, they all look good. I mean, I'm going to, uh, I even checked the ring gap um, on the pistons. Um, they were within standard spec. So, like brand new uh, rings on there. This is the, the uh, you can still see the home pattern in the cylinders. Um, they look really good other than they're kind of dirty because I had this all taped up and then sandblasted so it's got a little bit of sanding dust inside of them. But the cylinders look really good, no groove. Oh, well, awesome. I'm ready to put this baby back together here now. But I'll go show you what the head looks like. I got all the valves out so I can get the, the valves even look good. So let me show you what that looks like and we'll come back. All right, here's the head. I went through and I had put the cover back on, the valve 
uh, cover on so I could uh, bolt this on and, and then sandblast it. And then I'm gonna run this through the cleaning tank um, to get any of the grit out of the, out of the thing. Um, the, here's all the valves, got them lined up. Um, I see you just pick one random here. I mean, the, you can hopefully see, I mean, everything looked great. No pitting. Um, I took the stem seals off and wow, they're, they're pretty hard. I mean, when I had to take them off with needle nose pliers, cause you got this cup. So you only way to get them out is kind of bite on the side of them. And, yank them out so they all pretty much get destroyed when you pull them out so really no good way to you know check them out um the inside the underside of the head looks great hold on a minute do this with another set of hands the uh I said all the seats look really well no pits everything was good like i said this was a a shot in the dark on this engine not knowing how many miles was on it but it looks really good um pistons weren't burnt nothing i mean the uh whoever had it they took care of it so anyways that's the engine so far i'm going to be slowly uh relapping all the valves in put the new seals get it all painted up and everything and we'll be ready to roll so anyways i'll touch base back whenever i get a little farther along see ya all right just a little update the video kept close cutting out on me so um rather than fiddle with camera i worried about working on the bike uh, here we are we're looking at the crank this bike had very little miles on it from what i can see when it came to when i disassembled and checked things i mean the, the crank surfaces look wonderful teeth are all intact they all look great um the uh main journal bearings they still had the satin finish look to them and you know a couple area that, that was showing the wear but for the most part um, still had the silver no no copper look at all um, the cylinders were super clean um, no ridges I even checked the uh, ring gap you know took some of the rings off the pistons put them in the cylinders the end gap was still within standard tolerances so this thing had very little miles on it I mean the cam lobes they all look great um, I've already went ahead and uh, cleaned up, sandblasted, and painted the, the head. It's already got the silver paint and baked the finish on. Um, I went ahead and ran my deglazing stones through the cylinders, got them all nice and clean. So she's about ready to uh, start getting ready to assemble it. I got some of the other parts. I mean, everything's all in bags. It's all labeled, ready to go back together. Um, I'm waiting on all my new seals and replace all the oil seals in the bike or the engine and uh, I already have the gasket kit and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, crankcase. It's been uh, disassembled completely and uh, go over a couple things with you. See it. All right, here we have the, uh, this is the lower uh, crankcase. So it's been completely stripped down. Um, I got all new uh, paint on I didn't worry about stripping the paint on the inside I sandblasted the case I had uh, assembled it together with all the parts or as far as all the other cases and just uh, put the oil pan on the bottom and taped over the tops of the cylinders and Sam and then I machined some PVC inserts to go inside here cover all those holes sandblasted the whole case got it all nice and painted it looks great um, I did have a serious issue that when I came to uh, taking this part out that goes for the cam chain inside, whatever they used in the factory to glue the thread lock that they used and the little M10 screws, um, I had one of the screws break inside the case and man, I was about to have a meltdown. Yeah, here's the, here's the head of it just these little stainless screws and they go from here to here this thing fits inside like that and the screw that broke was this one right in here and man it took me an hour and a half i didn't have a drill bit long enough to go inside there so i had to take my dremel uh with the with the uh cable extension thing 
and use some carbide burrs and sit there and slowly grind the the precisionly grind the the old bolt out of there and as you can see that's the top bolt right here so that uh, that much thread was down inside that hole so it took me a good hour and a half of grinding to get that out i didn't star touch any of the threads that was in the casting once i got it and i was able to blow some air in it, some of the the threads actually started coming out kind of like a helicoil and then i just ran a tap back through it cleaned it all up so that was one potential issue that was completely bypassed by just taking a, taking my time and getting it apart but everything looks great on the uh on this engine um said she's all painted up all the paint's been baked on um i'll go over and show you the head and i got the, all the valves out i was getting ready to uh lap the valves and replace all the, the stem seals etc so i'll uh, go over and show you that and we'll touch base Oh, I wanted to show you one thing. This was the oil pan that was on it. And I'm assuming that this thing got in a, either it was in a wreck or they hit something or whatever and they had cracked the pan, which you couldn't see it. You can't hardly see any damage to the thing. There is a small part right in here that's potential, but it was, this thing was covered in oil. So it was leaking for a bit. When I put dropped the pan, I seen all the nice, it looks like JB Weld all in there that had already failed in the first place. So there's a crack in the JB Weld all the way around here. So anyways, I found one on eBay off of an 84 FJ. I got it on order and this one looks nice and clean. Just came in today. So I just got to uh, prep this one and get it painted to match everything else. And we can pitch the other, uh, other item. All right, off to the head. All right, here's the head. Um, been stripped down and the uh, I had put the, the end bearing caps on here so I could put the valve cover on there I kept the original gasket that was on there so I could seal this off put it on there and then sandblast everything ran it through my parts cleaner got it all cleaned up and then painted everything um, the valves looked super I mean I just ran these through the uh, wire wheel to clean a little bit of the carbon and stuff on there there's no pitting the the seats in the head look awesome so just a little bit of lapping work and these will be all clean the uh this if you tried to get the stem seals out with these heads before they're kind of a pain all you can do is use a, a well, unless somebody else has got a better idea i was just basically pinching onto the side of them so i didn't poke them in the hole and damage the actual valve guides I just pinched along the side of them. So most of them got destroyed just trying to get them out. And I <clears throat> I stack all of my parts together. All right, stop for a minute. I stack all of my parts that come out in here, especially when I take these apart to make sure I can uh, account for everything that comes out of there. I don't drop anything in there. Especially these, uh, these stem seals, they got little spring clips around them and i've had one fall before inside of a different head and uh kind of create a nightmare so whenever i take my stuff out i put it all back on there and make sure that i can account that i got every little piece out of there so i don't keep them for just to have them i just put it out here to make sure i got an account for everything but so far everything looks great um except it's all painted um the valve cover gasket on that Not gasket but the uh, valve cover it's all done and all i do is uh like i said use those outer screws to hold the cap on there with the gasket installed and i just drop these in here i'm going to re powder coat these back to a chrome color because they did have rust and stuff on all of them and all the bolts so those get all powder coated again this here is just that standard uh Duplicolor engine paint, and but when I put it on there, I put it in my uh, powder coat oven at a lower temperature and bake it on for about a half an hour, so I get a good solid finish with it. Um, but anyways, so don't keep or don't throw away your valve cover gasket if you're rebuilding a inline four. Um, it works great for being able to put it on there if you're going to sandblast or paint and paint it. I don't have to mask this whole top section off. I'm able to paint 
if you're going to make it a different color. I mean, if, if not, it's still easier to put it on there and if you don't, and then don't sandblast it if you're going to paint it a different color, but you can at least use it before you sandblast it. You can paint your uh, head whatever color you're going to do and then take it off, sandblast that or whatever, but I wanted it black because you're not going to see it in the, in the bike. So there it is. Um, everything looks good. I still got the gaskets in here so I can peel them out and they'll keep my surface clean. Um, you know, there's a little bit of masking I had to do for the head. Let me see if I can turn it over. So hold on a second. One of the boogers I did find is this uh, pin. It seems to be rusted in there pretty good. I'm going to try to take it out and machine a new one to put in there. Other than that, all the other parts look great. Like I said, I haven't touched anything with these uh, valve seats. Um, hopefully you can see them in the video, but they're super clean. There was no pits. So this is going to be awesome. Uh, the, the valve guides had no play in them. So we're all good here. I'm going to get this relapped in and just get her back together. So this is the update for the uh, engine part. Once I get it, I guess, back together, I'm not going to cover tons of on rebuilding the engine because it's just too time consuming and too much of a hassle when you're trying to do that to stop and do that and fix something with the video, charge the battery, etc. So anyways, here we are. Um, unless I come across something that I think that I should put it on the video, then I will. Other than that, we'll, we'll touch base whenever I got a little bit farther along. That's it. See ya.